Welcome back to the Crime Scene Kitchen semifinals. Two teams made a banana geode cake. Two teams made a banana fault line cake, and one team made a spiced floral cake. We're feeling very nervous. It's so much at stake right now, because if this is not the correct dessert, we are in danger of going home tonight. The cake is supposed to be a geode cake. If it's not, we could be going home. Someone gets sent home every week. It's better that it happened to us today than if we do make it to the finals and it happened there. I'd so rather it happen in the finals than oh, two feet know. away from the finals. Confectionator 3000, reveal the mystery dessert. It's a banana fault line cake with caramel filling, decorated with green crystals in the center and red, purple, and blue crystals on top. <laughs> okay. Could it be? No way. Yeah. We did a fault line, and I'm feeling so good about it because that was right. The cake that I see is not the cake that we have made doesn't feel great to choke in the final stretch. I'm not gonna allow you to beat yourself up that way. It's just cake. Yolanda, explain to our bakers how they were supposed to figure this one out. The five cake tins, bowl of caramel, and the banana scented parchment papers indicated a five layer banana cake with caramel filling. I did not smell the banana on the parchment paper, yeah. all I smelled was the spice. Spice. It's like, yep, we missed it. The diagram in the drawer represented a layered cake with an indentation hinting at a fault line cake. By connecting Mother's Day and Winter with the gemstone poster, you should have known to use green crystals in the middle of the fault line cake and blue, red, and purple crystals on top. Two of you made banana fault line cakes. But there was one team that read the clues almost perfectly in every respect, and their cake tasted amazing. Tonight's top dessert detectives are... Thomas and Kathy. 